run quickly to DC. So I'll first start off with a positive note. I've watched six episodes of Sandman. You've watched? Oh, I haven't seen it yet. So Sandman's kind of weird. Because yeah. there's a lot of strong meaning behind everything. And they're really long in the sense of, like, you feel the build-up throughout each episode, right? It's, yeah. There's some things that are just like, this is crazy. Like, episode five is insane, but, like, not in the way you think. It's just crazy. Um, There's 11 episodes, so I'm only halfway done. Um, I don't like some of the things they did. Like, they made Lady Death not look like Lady Death. Which is unfortunate. Because usually Lady Death is like this pale white goth girl. You know what I mean? Yeah. But now she's like this cheerful I say cheerful. I'm trying to think of how to best express it. Cheerful, sympathetic, uh, black woman. A little strange. I watched the episode that had her in, and I was like, "This is different." Also, Dad Joanna Constantine in it, but not John Constantine. Very missed oppor opportunity with that one, but um. I Ever read Sandman? I've heard super good things about. That's good is it though. Neil, is it Neil Gaiman that writes it? I don't remember who writes the actual uh, comic or the book story. I forget because it was like a just like a whole story for it, right? Yeah. It, yeah. It's it's a super interesting concept. It's one that I've never really delved into but i definitely think it's a we've talked about this a little bit the magic in the dc universe and just i i think is just far beyond marvel <laughs> yeah. because i don't know you get at the end of the day the magic within the marvel universe operates as if people were like warlocks uh serving a patron because you uh, have like these uh, uh -huh. Like these godly figures. Yeah. Um, bestowing powers to people. It, it's it's weird. Um, but I, I don't know. There are some cool things about like the Marvel magic within the Marvel universe. Don't get me wrong. But I think this stuff is really interesting and something that DC really hasn't capitalized on until now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was the first six episodes looking good. I think you should check it out and could do like a review on it. Um, it's kind of crazy though. Crazy though. That's suitable yeah. for the young, for the youngins out there. Um, but now to sadder stuff. Um, Batgirl, The Flash. Okay, is it really sad that we don't get to see Ezra Miller as Flash again? It's not about him. It's about Michael Keaton and Brandon Frazier. This is true. This is true. I feel so bad. Point. No Firefly? No Batman? It's, man, the Batgirl was, I, I don't know how you mess that up. Because Batgirl is a really liked character. Um, very much so. Even if we're not even talking about Barbara Gordon, like um, if we're talking about Cassandra Kane, Batgirl, or is she go by Cassandra Batwoman Kane. now? Cassandra Kane is a Batwoman. Yeah, but wasn't she Batgirl at one point? 
You know, I think Barbara at one point was Batwoman. Not the, not the okay. Movie. Yeah, other way around. Well, Batgirl is just such an interesting character. Um, Barbara Gordon, really awesome. They, they could have done some stuff with Dick Grayson within the show. Oh, gosh, man. The movie. Oh, yeah, within the movie, you're right. Firefly looked amazing. Uh, yeah. I mean, I feel so bad, like I said, for Brandon Fraser and Michael Keane. But they also canceled The Flash. Ezra Miller um, Oh, they like dumb. officially uh, canceled I think it? they did. I, I, they've said they're probably going to cancel it. Isn't that what they've said? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. But yeah, Ezra Miller, we all kind of knew he was garbage. Um. Yeah, he's he's not a good dude. I wonder what they're gonna do with his character in um. Uh, the Harry Potter thing. I don't know, but I think it'd be good if they did cancel a flash. Yeah. Because Ezra Miller is just a crappy human being. Yeah. And I don't think a lot of people would be in support of going to see a movie with Ezra Miller in it. Uh, you see, I think they should just make a Batman movie, movie and have his villain be Firefly. And then you solve both problems. Yeah, just take parts from... It looks really, like, janky. Yeah. <laughs> you just see Michael Keaton and then you see Firefly fighting Batgirl and <laughs> it looks janky. Yeah, yeah. I think that's oh. better than the alternative. Just just release Batgirl. You guys made so much you put so much money into it. Like, even if it's garbage, I want to see it because I want to understand the garbage. There's an, I just don't know how they can make something so bad where they were like, yeah, I'm going to cancel that. Like This was a mistake. Can't do this. But and better news, I've heard a rumor, I don't remember who said it, but I'm pretty sure DC announced they're heading for a total reboot of um, the DC Cinematic Universe. Well, they can't do Flash Boy. Yeah. <laughs> so and... now, they're just gonna like, hey, there's no actual reason for it, we're just gonna ignore it. Is out They're the gonna get rid of all the Zack Snyder stuff. Oh. And like restart and make it more Marvel like. That's what they said. They hired one of the guys that like helped make the MCU to help them develop this project and like a roadmap and stuff. So I mean DC's always been darker though. So mm. And like, yeah, it's like Marvel is always more like action packed and like, oh, ideals and stuff like that. DC's always been like dark, gritty storylines that are I, character driven. I, it really hasn't, though. The change really happened. I'd say probably. When was Watchmen released? The 80s? I can't then, believe I'm hearing this sacrilege. The, the Dark Knight. Well, here's the thing, right? We have. I'm not even talking just about movies, though. Let's talk about in general, especially with like the DC AU. Oh, you're talking about that, but like early on within DC, DC was pretty lighthearted in general. Well, yeah, you had sixties. Adam West doing doing stuff, you know? But, like... Yeah, but I'm just talking about... There was, like, a significant change to, like, Batman. Um, stuff like that. When... I think it was... Watchmen was not DC at the time. Yeah. Uh, they... But, you know, you start coming out with comics like The Dark Knight. Um, well... By Frank Miller. It doesn't have to be, be like dark and gritty, I guess. But definitely 
character driven. That's what DC characters are always, in my opinion, at least better written and have more to the like they're more complex, you know. Yeah, I I, I definitely think there. I prefer DC over Marvel, and I know people when I say that they're like, "What do you mean?" I was like, "Well, I don't just know." Just doing justice, like the characters, <laughs> just doing justice, just doing justice. I guess they the... did an injustice by giving us the last cinematic universe. Ooh, no, nah, but like the perfect example <laughs> is just injustice, right? This yeah. is the difference between the story to like storytelling of like DC when it's at its best in comparison to Marvel. You know what I mean? Mm hmm I think one thing they need to focus on is not making a new version of the DC characters. What I mean by that is when they restart the cinematic universe, make Batman Batman. Make Superman Superman. Don't make this moral thing where, you know, Superman is a god or Batman is, you know, the person trying to I don't know, like, a like you know the what? closet atheist trying to kill God, or uh, no <laughs> symbolism like that. Like you don't I, want I any, no... you don't want any forced conflicts like that. Well, not even that. It's just like you're taking away what makes the character so good. Yeah, I mean, like. It's not that hard. Just make Batman Batman and Superman Superman. You don't have to give your own take on Batman and Superman. They're already, like, perfect characters as is. I think what the main problem was, was that they weren't human enough. Yeah, for sure. And Batman, even though he has some crazy physical feats, at the end of the day, he's he's still human. human. Yeah. At the end of the day, Superman is not human, but... It's he was raised still, by humans. He's still human. It's weird. It's I don't know. As long well, as they make Superman not a flat character, it will be good. <laughs> yeah, just don't have him watch his dad die. <laughs> and I think it would also be good if they they things they really need in the new DC universe besides the Batman and Superman thing we've already talked about. They need a really good flash. Because I mean, I think I liked the casting for all their characters except for the flash and maybe cyborg. But like I'm okay with cyborg. I just prefer different CGI with it. Mm-hmm. It Flash was really the, the one that just really wasn't working. Yeah, and you can this is one of the dumbest things they did. You need Green Lantern if you're gonna put the Flash in. Yeah, not that they, they're not like that the, one is like, not that they are good characters because, like, they can't be good characters without one another. But the relationship between Hal Jordan, Green Lantern, and Barry, and Barry Allen, Allen Flash, yeah, is just such a cool relationship. And that name it. It, yeah, it's such a cool dynamic. And don't get me wrong, my favorite Green Lantern is um is not Hal Jordan. You like like you like what's his name? Um uh Kyle Rayner. No, not Kyle Rayner. Well you like John? John Stewart. John Stewart is Wait, is it John Stewart? Why what? Yeah. Why am yeah. I going crazy with names? See John Stewart it's either oh gosh. It's crazy Which, because they can do him really wrong as well. They because can. he's such a cool character. Like Hal Jordan of... and John Stewart are like like top tier characters, right? And whole Hal Jordan's parallax situation, and then John Stewart just kind of like came in, you know. And then also you have Kyle Rayner, you have Guy Gardner, which Guy Gon- Gardner sucks. I I don't think like, like, you know like the bro. No, the bro. But He's a really well-written character, and he's written to suck. Like, yeah, yeah. But um, well, they're having Blue Beetle still, right? Yeah, and then also one thing I need 
think they need to focus on. I've been saying this over and over again. Teen Titans. Which version? What do you mean? Because we got Cyborg in the Justice Justice League. There's no like it depends which version because there's I think they need to exclude Cyborg from the Justice League at first and put him in the Teen Titans. The Teen Titans are so compelling. And I think it would be very compelling for a lot of like youth in general. Well, after what they did with the TV show, it's kind of like, gosh, why, why do this again? You know. I just think it would be really good. But if they do a build up, they need to make a Wonder Woman movie. You know, again? I'm not. I don't know. If you like just scrapped everything and threw everything out. I'd the first one, one was decent. I thought it was good too. I'd make a new. I might recast everyone. It's the <laughs> good part. Just because I love Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman, but you know, if you're trying to get past the phase, maybe keep The Rock as uh, Black Adam because that's like a dream cast. But what you want? Uh, the Batman. Batman. No. Is that what's up? Just throw everything away, maybe. Everything? And build up to a Justice League where they don't fight someone like Darkseid, because... Well, these big, man. You want to do something small for the first adventure. Well, they already yeah. did... Um, oh, gosh, what's his name? Big Star. Face what? hugs. Starro? Starro, yeah. They already did Starro. So you can't do that. Um, maybe the best start is now. It might be too soon to do an Injustice League because you'd have to build up the characters and their villains for that, right? A Legion of Doom. That's too soon, though. You know, like they haven't. If they if they're starting. From scratch, they have nothing, right? I guess you're right. They should just definitely just jump into the anti monitor. Well, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm just kidding. No, they had to do instant, uh, if an, what's, it, what's it called? Crisis on Infinite Earths. <laughs> yeah, just automatically. Uh, well, they could um... do, they could do what they did with like, Mortal Kombat 2011, where it's like, if you hadn't played Mortal Kombat at all, you just kind of show up and you see the world get rebooted. Like, you see the the characters from, um, basically the, the past iteration just kind of get bodied, and then have to, like, time travel to fix it. Amazo would be cool. Ama- Amazo! Yeah. Because he could, like, copy all their powers and stuff. But then, Batman would just, like, take an EMP. You know? I don't know. But I mean, there's a cartoon where Nightwing and Batman, by themselves, beat Amazo. I definitely th- think, um... Restarting would be a good idea if they did that. But... I don't know what they're going to do, but I'm excited. Yeah. Ooh. But anyways, we didn't talk about stuff too long today, but, you know, I feel like we covered quite a bit. We did cover quite a bit because we did our um, yearly review, which, I mean, I don't think we mentioned it because we were mostly talking about our goals. But um, me and Lincoln really appreciate anyone who's watching our videos, giving us the time of their day. day you know, we really yeah. appreciate it. We, um, I guess I have to do this whole thing again where, so <laughs> we, t- we did this, um, in the video that didn't record, but, um, you know, thank you guys. Like this is originally William was like, Hey, you want to do a podcast? And it was originally so we could stay in touch, but, um, and I'm, I'm glad we've really stayed in touch 
and you know i'm glad through that other people might get enjoyment or it might help i don't know it might make their day better um listening to what we have to say even if our opinions are bad sometimes because i know i have bad opinions a lot of times so thank you guys um that being said you know with interacting with you you all um we really love more interaction because we want to hear what you have to say because now you know you listen to us and we don't get to hear what you have to say at all yeah i want to know what you think um so that's basically it i mean just thank you guys for watching give us a like if you like the video and um, subscribe possibly yeah it's always good to do that if you're not already (laughs) yep all right well we'll see you guys next time see you guys next time